Hello everybody and welcome back to another dreadlock video. Today is a special video because I'm going to show you my six month dreadlock update. I'm always posting about tips that you guys can use for your own dreadlocks, but today I'm just going to show you my dreadlocks and how far they've come from the first day I started them to now at six months. Here they are. So you can see they've matured a lot. From the first day I had them, they were kind of bumpy and almost they almost felt like braids, but now they feel like hair. You can see they've smoothed out a lot. I still get a little bit of frizz, but the frizz has gone down a significant amount. I would say the main difference is the maturity. I find that in the past month or two, they've matured a lot. If you don't know what dreadlock maturity is, it basically just means that braided feeling and them wanting to come out all the time kind of starts to go away and they start to wrap into each other and start to feel a little more natural and they'll start to feel a little bit more like hair. So that's the biggest thing I've noticed. Um, I had wavy, curly, straightish hair. You guys can check out my first dreadlock video, which came out about six months ago. And you can see the difference. Yeah, I would say the main difference is the maturity. I find at like month five, they started to, month four to five, they started to really mature. And now at month six, they're very mature. And I can't wait to see how they are in another six months when it's a full year. But I've learned a lot about my locks. I've learned a lot about patience. I've learned a lot about hair care. I do a lot of different things now compared to when I first had them. They kind of made them mature a little faster. And if you guys want to see those, go check out my channel. I post videos all the time. I'll also be posting more videos in the future. Uh, next week, I want to post a couple more. So yeah, you could see that they've matured a lot more. Um, I do have some frizz. I need to get... Um, I need to get some maintenance done. But besides the point, they've grown a couple inches. They feel like normal hair. They hang like normal hair. So the biggest thing I found in the past six months, first couple months of your dreadlock stages, you have to get maintenance more than usual. So a lot of people say like, oh, don't crochet your hair more than once every whatever. But no, like if my hair is fall, if the lock is falling out, I'm gonna crochet it. And that's gonna happen to, to new locks. So you're gonna have to do a little more maintenance. You're gonna have to crochet a little more often than you would like. But that's just in the beginning because your hair needs to get used to being in this. Chances are you're getting locks, you're over the age of like 16. So your hair has been not in locks for that many years. So your hair isn't gonna like being in locks. So you have to tease it and you have to make sure that it gets matured and used to being in locks. And that's how you do it. You gotta crochet, I like to rub, some type of like oil into my hair after I get it wet, after I wash it. Yeah, I found that that helped my hair mature quite a bit. They're way more mature than even two months here. You guys can look at my old videos, but yeah, this is my six month update. Obviously I want them to be longer. One day I want them to be down my back and you guys will be there for the journey because I'm gonna be posting stuff all the time about it. But yeah, the first six months have been awesome. Only get dreads if you really want them for a long time because they, People are like, well, I only want them for a little bit, then don't get them because they take like six months to even mature. Sometimes even more depending on your hair type. So you won't, you won't even, they won't even really start to look nice and start to look like locks until about six months. So if you plan on getting rid of them in three months, it's not even, it's pointless. Um, I think it's definitely a journey that's gonna take a while and you gotta be patient with it. And, and that's what I love about it. So yep, this is my six month update. Major points are maturity less flyaways they're just starting to feel more like hair they're easier to maintain now i don't have to to crochet as often and hopefully i don't have to crochet often in the future but that's about it main points are maturity yeah just learning about them and, and learning how to take care of them and learning what works for your dreads because what works for mine not, might not work for yours chances are it won't work for yours because not everyone has the same type of hair so this is what i find like you, you guys have seen my brother geo's dreads and his come out because his hair is so straight my hair is kind of wavy and curly, so it kind of locks itself. So he has to get maintenance done way more than I do. With real tight curls, won't have to get maintenance as done as I have to. So everything's different. But yeah, six months, um, that's kind of the sweet spot. I think this is when you really start to see the dreads mature. And this is when you really start to enjoy. Well, I've always enjoyed having my locks, but you can really enjoy having locks without having to maintain them all the time. That's the video, guys. Six months in to my journey and a whole lifetime. So I'm really excited. And at six months, you can expect your dreads to start looking a lot more mature and a lot more manageable. I hope this video helped anyone out. Um, go to electusword.com for merchandise. I have a whole summer line out right now. Check out my podcast. Uh, the link will be down below. And stay tuned for more videos. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.